Hello students, welcome to standard 9 subject mathematics chapter 10 circles. This is lecture number 2. We are seeing the circles and their related terms. In the first lecture, we have seen the definition of circle, definition of uh, radius, diameter, chord, circular regions. Here are some more definitions we have. That is, the first is arc. So, a piece of circle between the two points is called an arc. Like this is the circle is given, the two points on that circle P and Q is shown here. So by that the two pieces are made, this part, if you consider the two pieces from these two points, if you separate it, this is one part or one piece of the circle, this is the other piece of the circle. This piece of circle by the two uh, points on the circle is called an arc. In figure, a piece of the circle between the points P and Q is an arc, this side or this side and this arc is also denoted as arc PQ PQ, this is the sign of arc above curved part of some part of the circle shown so this is arc PQ read as arc PQ in this way and in that this way also next is minor arc and major arc so there are two pieces in the figure are smaller in the figure, one smaller and the other is longer. You can see the whole figure, the piece of the circle by the two endpoints P and Q are, this is the bigger, longer piece of the circle and this is the smaller piece of the circle. The smaller piece of the circle, this piece of the circle that is smaller between the two points, between the two points, the smaller piece is called the minor arc or minor arc, you can uh, show it by minor arc PQ and the longer piece, this side, the longer piece you can see on the circle the longer piece of the circle between the two points between the two points is called major arc this is called, the big piece is called major arc and it is denoted as PRQ in one, on major arc we have shown one more point R so if you see R P R Q that is the major R, so it is here. Major R P R Q you can show it this way. If uh, P and Q are endpoints of diameter, suppose P and Q are the endpoints of diameter, it may be the P point and the Q point on opposite points of the diameter, diametrically endpoints, then the both the arcs will be equal, you can understand if P and Q will be opposite on the diameter endpoints. So both the arc will be of the same length and both the arc are equal and each is called semicircle at that time when they are equal, equal arcs. If smaller and larger, if smaller and longer, smaller is called minor arc, longer is called minor or major arc. And if the both the circle, both the pieces are in equally divided by the diameter, then both are called semicircles and each of them is called semicircle. So this way we have seen here arc and minor arc, major arc as well as semicircle. Now we have the circumference next. The length of the complete circle is called a circumference. The length of complete circle, right? If you measure the length of full length of the complete length of the circle, that length of complete circle is called circumference. Next is segment. This way we have to consider this figure for us. The region between a chord, this picture is a chord, you can understand it is given. And either of its arc, either of its arc, please. This side the minor arc, this side the major arc. If you consider any of its part made by chord and corresponding arc, the region between the chord and corresponding arc is called segment of the circle. And in this also figure you can see the minor and major segments you can see. So how can you define minor segment? The minor segment means that the arc, minor arc is coming and the chord is coming. The chord and the minor arc mixed together. Minor segment and the chord and major arc mixed together. The region makes major segment. So minor or major segment in that the region between a chord 
between the heart and its minor arch, this side minor arch. The region between the cord and its minor arch is called minor segment. This is minor segment. And the region between the cord and its major arch, this side. The region between the cord and major arch is major. This region is called the major segment. Next is sector. This figure we consider in this. The region between the arc, that let it be Q is an arc, and two radii OP and OQ joining the centers to the end points. These two radii are joining the center to the end points of given arc P and Q. Then this part of the circle is called sector. This is called sector. In this also minor and major sector we have to define. So minor sector you can see this, the smaller sector. How can we define this? In minor sector you can understand the minor arc PQ is nothing. And in major sector the major arc PQ is nothing. So we define here as this definition only the region between the minor arc and the two radii OP and OQ joining the center to the end points of the arc is called minor sector. This is and the region between the major arc is this way we have to see the arc, major arc and the two radii joining, two radii joining the, the center to the end points of the arc is called a major sector. This is sector, major sector. So this way we understand circles and its related terms. After understanding this, you write down it at very well in writing and remember it, learn it well. And then we have after this the exercise 10.1 in that we are asked about something related to this all lecture 1 and lecture 2 which we have seen in circle and related terms. So this is your homework to complete solve exercise 10.1. You can solve it by the knowledge of this all lecture 1 and lecture 2 and uh, circle and related terms if you understand if you remember you can solve it so it is your homework to solve exercise 10